No, um, I, I think I, I think you're right. I think he plays with a chip, you know, and he constantly does. But it's it, it's fascinating because it's it's a very it's a very diametric thing. He plays with the chip, but he still plays within himself. So I'll give you another Brady Belichick story. Um, Brady was talking about a film session he had with Belichick, and everybody knows that Tom Brady is not the most mobile of quarterbacks. Okay, he doesn't got he doesn't got the wheels of a Patrick Mahomes. He doesn't got the wheels of a Baker Mayfield, for goodness sakes. Well, there's this clip where he's rolling to the right, and Julian Edelman, who happened to go to Kent State University, thank you very much, is running <laughs> wide open. Across the field, okay. So Brady is running to to his right. Edelman's open, and he's wide open across the field to his left. And it's about a 65, 70 yard throw with Brady on the run. And Belichick says to him, watching the film session, he goes, "Tom, you've got to make that throw. He's wide open." And Brady said to him, "Coach, I couldn't make that throw if I was standing still because I don't have that kind of arm strength." And Belichick goes, but it's the safest throw. And he goes, no, it's not the safest throw if I don't have the arm strength because it'll come up and it'll be a pick. It'll be a, it'll be a pick. It'll be an interception. So you've got to you've got to play with a chip on your shoulder, but that's not a license to steal. You know what I mean? You got to play with a chip with on your shoulder, but then you still got to know what your limitations are. And but the, the the mistake that people make, they think all I do is play with a chip on my shoulder, be angry all the time, and that's where you get those idiots who say stupid stuff and get kicked out of games for you know for personal fouls, and and they're they're morons. You got to play with a control and a discipline, and play within yourself to realize that you can only do certain things. Okay, and the it's the person who tries to do too much that winds up making the bad play and winds up losing the game for everybody. And in business, it's the same way. You know, you've got to know. Is my best quality, you know, researching the customer and being so prepared that I come in that I wow them like that? Or is my best quality the fact that I know how to take and synthesize that information once I'm in front of a customer? Or is my best quality or is my, you've got to know what works for you. If you do not know what works for you, you can't play with a chip on your shoulder. It's like, you know, it, it's like, you know, you know, you know, giving the wrong person a, a, a hatchet. You know what I mean? You, know, you don't know what they're going to chop up. You expect them to chop up wood, but who knows what they're going to do? You've got to sit there and know who you are and what your strengths and weaknesses are. And that's one of the great things about him. And then within that, the thing that people forget is within what, you know, you know that chip on your shoulder and what your, you know, what your limitations are, there's a lot of room to play. There's a lot of room to get better. It's the same thing in sales and business. Just because you know you you know you want to make a million, just because you want to you know be the best salesman, however we want to phrase it, and you have certain limitations to what you can do. It might be you know you know skill set might be this, might be that. But when inside of there, all you can do is be the best person you can be inside of there. And I promise you, if you fix your skill set inside of you know that that chip on your shoulder to wanting to be the best, to knowing what your limitations are. And you improve everything else, that's going to get you a lot farther than taking ridiculous choices or, like I say, you know, you know, having the guts but not the intelligence. Okay, you know, we got the guts without the intelligence; yeah. it doesn't really matter.